Hi, I'm Zach Duval and I'd like to welcome you to Niagara Falls. It is about 12,000 years old and is home to two of the most famous waterfalls in the world. Uh, American Falls and the Horseshoe Falls, otherwise known as the Canadian Falls, are right behind me. Let's go take a look. Standing on the American side of uh, on the pedestrian entrance, and over my left shoulder is the American Falls. Now, a lot of people ask, where does this water come from? All the Great Lakes that are formed around this area flow into the Niagara, Ni into Niagara Falls. It dumps into the Niagara River, over to Lake Ontario, into the St. Lawrence River, and eventually into the Atlantic Ocean. About 5.5 gallons of water every hour Falls. Only 10% of the water is in the American Falls here. Later, we'll see the uh, Canadian side of the falls, which holds about 90% of the water flowing from the Great Lakes. We're here at the heart of the American Falls, right behind me. Um, due to erosion, and, uh, and hundreds of thousands of years from now, American Falls won't even exist. Uh, it'll be pushed back all the way over there, and all that's be left is the Horseshoe Falls to my right, which you cannot see right now. Um, all that's gonna be here in, in thousands of years is just gonna be trees uh, and, and, and nature, basically. Uh, so this is this is the American side of the falls, and let's take a look. This is more uh, like one of the more cooler views on Niagara Falls. We're here on the Rainbow Bridge. Actually, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, the falls actually were under here, but again, due to erosion, uh, about three to four feet every year, the, the falls moved back. So it's all the way back over there now. Uh, the Niagara Falls is home to about 12 million tourists per summer. Most of them come to the summer because it's warm and everything, but it's really cool to come down and see Niagara Falls in the wintertime. Everything, all, like, all the rock throws and all the everything. It's really, really beautiful sight. So uh, let's go take a closer look at the Canadian Falls. Now, right over my left shoulder is the Horseshoe Falls, otherwise known as the Canadian Falls. The Canadian Falls holds the other 90% of the water that comes from the Great Lakes down that flows into the uh, into Niagara River. Also, another cool fact is hydroelectric uh, power is, is, is like one of the largest sources of hydroelectric power in the world here in Niagara Falls for both the United States and Canada. Uh, like I said, the 5.5 billion gallons of water that flow through here equals a lot of water power. Which even uh, the lights that come over there Canada that light up the falls at night are actually uh, powered by the water here in Niagara Falls. That is about it. Uh, thank you for taking an adventure with me around Niagara Falls. Uh, I hope you like the, the views and, and the facts about the American Falls and the Canadian Falls. Uh, I encourage anyone who hasn't been to come at least once in their life. It's absolutely amazing to come see the different views and everything. And uh, when I turn the lights on, which, which I don't think they are for, uh, for another little while, it just kind of sucks, but it, it is a really cool view to see. So uh, if you haven't gotten out here, come out here and thank you for your time.